Greetings and, wel greetings and welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am Manning's Man. I thank you for joining us for one more video on our platform. Remember, I Am Sure Sports can be seen on YouTube. If you're watching this, this is probably where you're seeing it. We're also on Facebook and we're on Instagram. I uh, want to thank all our subscribers and all the persons who take time to watch our content. Please, if you have not yet, hit the like button um, and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we have recently started a new part of our program called the, the Legends Corner, where we look at past players, football, soccer players in Jamaica who had great career at the schoolboy, uh, Premier League and at the national level. And we highlight them and have them have an opportunity to share their story about what it is like growing up in Jamaica and playing football back in the days so we can gather and understand the history of the sport in the island. And, and so I've had many of them that I've spoken to. And um, there's something that I, I was brought to my attention that I need to bring some clarity to. And it had to do with an interview with one of the legends that I uh, spoke with. His name is Hector Bullwright. You know him very well. Great midfielder who represented Jamaica. Had a stellar career. And if it wasn't for the injury to his knee, he would have probably been one of the top midfielders in this island right and probably would have had the opportunity to play overseas as well for a longer time than he actually did in that interview mr wright said that he was the first jamaican listen to me again he said i am the first jamaican to score in the azteca against mexico let me repeat he said i am the first jamaican to score against Mexico in the Azteca. It was a game that Jamaica lost. He didn't state whether it was World Cup qualifying, a friendly game, an international game. What he said, he was the first Jamaican to score against Mexico in the Azteca. Let me say it for you one more time. Mr. Wright said he is the first Jamaican to score a goal that was allowed against Mexico in the Azteca. All right, you can check the records, but the records also prove that. I think someone heard something else or added to it, and it is posted elsewhere that Mr. Wright and I said that he's the first Jamaican to score in Mexico in a World Cup qualifying or something to that sort. All right, that is not what was said. And so what I'll advise to, out of respect for these former players, that if you believe that something was said that is not clear or you don't agree with, at least take the opportunity to listen to it yourself. Take the opportunity to, to hear what was actually said and then draw your conclusion. Don't take hearsay to draw your conclusion because you may be hearing inaccurate information. All right, I have to clarify that because a lot of things that these, these past players are saying, people are taking out of their proper context, right? And we must also understand, and I keep pushing this, that it is okay for other people to have opinions that differ from yours, and we must pay respect to that. If all of us in the world were the same, the world would be an uncomfortable place to live in. People will have varying opinions, and that must be appreciated and that must be respected. So this is a very quick video to, 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 to kind of clarify what Mr. Hector Wright said. So the thumbnail, you're going to see his picture on it. And I'm going to put update so you can see that, right? And you can follow. So please remember, um, if you have not yet, hit the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel. Continue to support I Am Sure Sports, right? We're, we're doing our work because you're calling out for it. You're crying out for it. And these are some inspiring story. Uh, on Sunday, tomorrow, I'm going to take time out to thank all the, the legends that we have spoken to. But not only that, I'm going to pick from what they have said. Some of the salient point that they have made so we can develop on them. And we have an attorney that will be speaking to looking at the reggae boys um, um, contract with Puma in terms of jerseys. 
We're also going to be speaking to them about it, um, the JFF being a limited liability. We're also going to speak to them about the, the trademark name Reggae Boys. Who owns it and where is the ownership base of the, that logo? So that will be tomorrow, Sunday, October 24th at uh, 2 30 on our Facebook platform and also on our YouTube platform. Also, want you to know that in the week we have uh, uh, some more interviews coming up for you. Um, we have confirmed interviewing Denden Hutchinson, um, great player as well. Um, so stay tuned for that and get ready for that. We don't want to surprise you with the person. We want the information that they they share to be a surprise to you. Again, thank you for tuning in. I mean, remember hit the subscribe button. And again, thanks to all the legends, um, Roger Reed, Dean Sewell, Linval Paula Wilson, uh, Lenny Teacher Hyde, I mean Hector Wright, Paul Teagot Davis for coming on and sharing their story with us. We appreciate you and I hope you'll be shown due recognition for the work you have done. If you have not been interviewed, we want to do it. I mean, I may not have your contact information. You can contact me on our Instagram platform because we want to do it to, for as many of our legends as possible. Again, have a wonderful rest of the day and thank you for watching and sharing and subscribing to I Am Sure Sports. I am Manning's man and we are Woosh and we are out of here.